Grok and Gemini, Attack of the G-Bots? So it's been a fun-filled week in AI, a very fun-filled week. And last week we saw the launch, supposedly the official launch of Gemini AI, or Gemini Pro, I think it's called, which is supposedly pow uh, Google's huge new LLM which supposedly is now powering BART. BART. <laughs> There's a Simpsons reference, BARD, BARD. So Gemini was actually teased a few months ago, maybe it was a few weeks ago, and there was a indication that they weren't done with it yet, that Gemini would have to wait, or the launch of Gemini would have to wait until 2024. Now, this was not really well uh, received by many people because they thought, oh my God, Google is pushing back. There's so much activity going on in this space. You've got ChatGPT, you've got Anthropic, you've got OpenAI. Well, those are the same thing, uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT. You've got Perplexity. You've got all of these different chatbots launching, and they're all really good. And plus, you have the dark horse of Grok coming out from XAI, which is Elon Musk's company. And everybody knows that a lot of the times when Elon Musk does something, it works out really well, right? So Gemini was teased that it, was, that it had to be moved out to 2024. But then all of a sudden, out of the blue, last week, it was announced. And it was put in place to power BARD. So BARD became the front end, and Gemini, this huge large language model that, Je that Google's been working on, is supposed to be so amazing got put in at the back end of BART. So of course, the moment it was available, I tested it out. And you will not believe how awful it is. It's not very good. And BART was never very good in the first place. I've used it a couple of times. I've used, over the last year or so, over the last amount of time that it was actually out, I've used it a couple of times. And every time I've used it, I've had very poor results. I've just not gotten the results I'm looking for from BART. I keep going back to OpenAI. I keep going back to ChatGPT. So I thought, let me, let's me let try Gemini. Let's go into Gemini and try Gemini out through BARD and see what happens. Well, I tried the same kind of queries, and it was, again, not that good. In fact, for one of the queries, it was unbelievable. I asked it a question, and it actually said to me, in not so many words, go Google it. Go Google it? I mean, the whole idea behind these things is that they're supposed to be taking work off of our hands, right? And then it turns around and says, I'm sorry, I can't do that, Dave. I mean, come on. Of course, my name's not Dave, but if you got the reference, then you know what I'm talking about. So Gemini seems to be a huge fail. And apparently what came out was that this amazing video that they put out that everybody thought was actually live was a canned video. So when Google is saying they're going to push things back till 2024, when Google puts something out that's n that's underwhelming. When Google uses a marketing video to make it look like their LLM is amazing, then you have to say to yourself, wait a second, what's going on here? Now, Google was always, if in my mind, my, Google was always in my mind, a follower. Now, they may, not be, they may be a fast follower, they may be a slow follower, but they're always a follower. Because I probably mentioned it before, one of the reasons why Google, like Google's major source of income comes from ads, AdWords. And they put these ads beside text. And that entire concept was actually invented by a company called Overture in Idea Lab in Southern California, which was then bought by Yahoo. And they basically stole that concept and paid Yahoo off a certain amount of money to continue using it. And if it wasn't for Yahoo doing that, which was a dumb move, then who knows where Yahoo would be today. But the whole concept of text ads, the entire, the, the hugest base of money that Google is making comes off something that they didn't even develop themselves. So now, when it comes time for them to jump into the AI race and really do something well, because if you think about it, I mean, Google literally has the world's information. They've won the search engine war, folks. They've won the search engine war. Nobody goes anywhere else but Google. I mean, some people sure go here and there because maybe they're concerned about privacy. Maybe they don't want to get ads in every feed. They go to other places, but Google has basically won. People go to Google. And they use Google. So Google has won the search engine war. So it has everything. People use Gmail. People use Google Ads. Everybody has everything on, on Google. Right? Google Maps, etc. So when they already have the 
biggest database in the entire planet on everything and they put this front end on and it fails and it fails miserably compared to all of the other LLMs that are out there you have to think to yourself wait a second what the hell is going on here what's going on with Google so that's a concern the other thing that happened last week is that Grok XAI's chatbot which I mentioned earlier which was kept really hidden under wraps finally got rolled out to anybody who has a premium plus subscription on X now I always thought premium plus was a funny name because in Canada we have a cracker called premium premium plus it's like a saltine right so if you're a premium plus subscriber of X you now have access to grok and I've also tried grok I've, I've got my access a couple days ago and I tried grok and I think it's really interesting, but there's the, the, it's still missing something. So both Google, both Gemini and Grok are both missing something. Now Grok can be vulgar, Grok can be nasty. Grok roasts really well. Apparently that's one of the things that does really well. And it has access to X. You can actually go in there and say, hey, can you look at this account? You can look at that account. So it has access to X, which is super important because if you ask me, if you want the latest breaking information on anything, that's where it all is. X is the pulse of humanity. If it's something that's late breaking, it's always going to show up in X first. That's where people post stuff. It's always been like that. Ever since it first came out, ever since it was originally Twitter, that's where people went to get breaking news because the latest and greatest stuff was always on X. So it leverages X for a lot of information, but it still fails. It's not that good. Now, there was a lot of discussion on this saying that, oh, they were expecting to be really, really impressed, and it wasn't. And you know why neither of these are impressive? Because think about it this way. These LLMs are like children. They've just been born. They've just been put out into the world, and they still need to be used and absorbed because the more often they're used, the more information that they intake, the more they learn, the more they grow. They're basically like little human beings. And the more we use them, the more we correct them, the more we help them, the better they get. Now, somebody might say, well, oh, isn't that like AGI? Isn't that like creating your uh, our own entity? I don't know. Maybe you could say that these things are entities and we're helping them grow. So try them out. If you're on X, get Premium Plus and try it out. If you're on the web, just go to bard.google.com and try out Gemini. See for yourself. See if you're getting what you want from these bots. If you ask me, ChatGPT still reigns supreme. I still use it for almost everything. And now that it's added video and, and, and sorry, not video, images and everything else, I use it for almost everything. So go ahead and try it out. Like I said, it's early days. They're still learning. We're barely a year into this whole generative AI ecosystem. Still early. So much could happen. So much could happen. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future. Uh -huh.